Hi, good morning. Uh, it's Tuesday, October 6th, and today we're going to live solve the LA Times puzzle by Bruce Haight. Um, no preamble, let's just do it. Hope you guys are enjoying the new fall weather wherever you are. Feels like fall where I am, so I guess I'm just projecting on you. Uh, meat on a skewer feels like a kebab. Does that work with this? Katy Perry? That sounds good, right? Kebab, let's see. Is that going to be K-E-B-O-B? -B? Kebab? Kebab. A better mortgage deal is going to be probably a refi, a refinance deal, which if you are a mortgage holder, then you should probably look into refinancing your home right now. Rates are pretty excellent. Subtle look this way. That's probably going to be, pst. it could be a hem or something maybe as well. Um, gulf of such and such. Let's see what the down is here. Watercolor. Well, that feels like it's going to be aqua. Um, so kebab. Hmm. There's probably a hundred ways you could spell kebab, right? Or like four. Um, albacore and yellowfin. So that is tunas. So aqua looks pretty good. And a river border. Is it bend maybe? Or a, a bank? Oh, geez. Right. Um, ingredient in some Tibetan cheese is probably yak milk. Gamble risk. Also, though, like, <clears throat> just to get back to this clue, um, gambling is risky, certainly. You can lose your money. Um, I like to gamble. I like to bet on sports. I like to play poker and blackjack and stuff. And, you know, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. But um, I don't view it as, like, the point isn't to get rich. The point is entertainment. So in the same way that you might spend – $50 to go out to dinner in a movie or something like you might spend $50 at the casino or betting on a game and it, you know, win or lose, it uh, increases your enjoyment of the game. Like if a football game you have no interest in really, you throw 50 bucks on it, boom, it's entertaining. Uh, ego trip is what I just went on, I think, maybe. Um, a horror movie helper is Igor, like from Frankenstein. He was Dr. Frankenstein's assistant. Uh, on Golden Pond, actor or actress is Fonda, which is interesting. I just did um, the New York Times review for today, and there's a clue about um, uh, Hanoi Jane, which was a derogatory term applied to, to Jane Fonda in 1972 um, that had to do with like the Vietnam War. And I, I didn't know anything about it. It was really interesting kind of going down that little rabbit hole there. Dramatically twisty is probably going to be ironic. Well, what is this? DNA test, maybe? Genealogy, a DNA test. So, I mean, it's either D and N. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just check and make sure. I mean, pretty much the only thing I can think of is a DNA test that would fit there. Um, so I want to make sure that that those work. Otherwise, ironic would be wrong. And I need to go back to the drawing board there. A grade for a soph is 10th grade, a sophomore in high school. Uh, let's see here. Where am I? Awesome in 90s slang, fat. That's funny. That's a throwback. Uh, healthy is hail, hail and hearty. Blizzard remains are slush. And then heavenly is probably ah, wise counsel, sage advice. Um, let's see, darn it, son of a gun. So this all kind of feels a little old right now. Um, son of a gun and sage advice. Um, I don't know, just kind of, it doesn't feel super fresh. And the one thing that's like kind of, Sort of current recent um, is 25 years old um, and references its oldness in the clue. Cut out early is probably bail. Uh, let's see here. I'm just kind of all over the place here. I don't really have any 
Method to my madness lair as the bandits hide out. High a la mode, right? So this is Hawaiian born president. So kebab, I spelled this way wrong, or at least way different than they spell it. Um, Hawaiian born president Obama. Ever heard of him? Sherlock Holmes portrayer. Well, it's got to be Basil something, right? I just think of um, Austin Powers Basil Exposition. Um, so that's not it. Um, although I suppose that's that must be like kind of a what it was a take on, right? Uh, Beatles Meter Maid, lovely Rita Meter Maid. Hunk of dirt is a, a clod of no a clod of dirt. <laughs> a lee plea. So it's like moo or ba. It's a sound an animal makes. Um, fast food, ch food chain named for its founders, the Raffle Brothers. I'm gonna say that's the Arby's chain. Raffle Brothers, R B. Never knew that, but that's interesting. That's a great clue because it's like we all have heard of Arby's. You could have just said, um, you know, a standard clue might be like fast food chain known for its meat, um, something like that. Um, but instead, it's like it's a clue that's interesting and informed and that's intuitive. I mean, you can figure it out. Raffle Brothers, there's information there. It's good. Uh, Silicon Valley region is the Bay Area. Recipe amount is a tablespoon. Part of a plug is a prong, like a, a plug for an outlet. Maple extract, <clears throat> pardon me, is sap. Predicament is a spot. List ending abbreviation et al. Kid Litz, Nate the Great. I have a buddy, Keith. Um, and his older brother's name is Nate, and they used to call him Nate the Great because of this book. But then when Keith was born and named Keith, there was nothing that was an obvious rhyme, so they called him Keith the Beef. And now we're like in our late 30s, and um, we still call him Keith the Beef. So there you go. So I like this clue. Hmm. Drink with scones is tea. You uncultured swine. Pool or park, word with pool or park. Well, I wanted to say pool Q, but um, that doesn't seem right. Finishes end, let's see if we can figure these out. An uncool one is a nerd. So it's a car, a oh, carpool, car park. And Ivan Lendl, <laughs> born yesterday, naive. Boy or a girl. Michael Irvin. Oh my God. I love Michael Irvin. Um, what a, what a character, um, as an analyst and definitely as a player back in the day, um, those guys partied <laughs> the Cowboys, the Dallas Cowboys back in the day, um, all autumn occurrence and a, a hint to the start of the four other longest down answers. So falling leaves, Four other longest down answers. So does that mean I have to count? I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, so I think I'm not gonna. Um, no idea beats me, but it looks like I can probably just complete this without knowing the theme. So there's sometimes when you need you need to figure out the theme in order to complete it, but um, this is not one of those times. Uh, so this is Alp Mont Blanc. Lee, please. So that's still going to be Mu or Ba. You got that right. Amen. So I, I think probably Mu. Oh no. Like many doilies would be Lacey. So it's probably Ma, which is like, uh, you see that sometimes it's, I guess it's an alternative spelling of Ba, but I, meh. Splendor. Is that like a clot? I think. Interpreter of lines, palm reader. That's a nice clue. Um, because you're thinking interpreter of lines, like some sort of an actor or um, something like that. Uh, but it's not. Female folklore deity is a nymph. So what is this? Oh, Basil Rathburn. Is that right? First name in country, Reba. 
Copy ape. Okay, that works. I think it's Rathburn. I oh, know. Because this is Mount Osa. Uh, Rathborn? Mm. I robot is Asimov, Isaac Asimov. Oops. And comedy club sounds are probably ha ha's. Crayon shade would be a hue. So that works. Exhaust, use up. Is that going to work? Because these, <clears throat> this across looks funny. Um, so I don't know who that is. The spry, maybe. Yeah, spry, nimble. Hideous, ugly. So this could be a U E L. I don't, that doesn't ring a bell to me, but um, still looks a little bit ideal way to work team wise as a unit. Okay. Uh, living labyrinth. Is that like a hegemony? Hegemony. Time off is vacay. And cooker is an oven. Clear the board, erase the chalkboard. What off steam is vent. Drops below the horizon. Well, I want that to be sets, but gaming giant is Atari. MRI image is a scan. So drops below the horizon is going to be sinks. And this is mask and focus group eyes. That's a nice clue. I like that. So I'm going to say this is wrath bone and hegemony ward. Oh no, because this is. This is stave off, right? So, oh, hedge maze, a living labyrinth. There we go. Hegemony. What? what? That's stupid. Budusek Zen and like knees during a squat are bent. We did it. It's complete. We did it in 11 minutes and 27 seconds. Could not have done that without your help. You were crucial in that solve. So let's take a look at what we got here, see what we liked and didn't like. So what was, let's see if we can parse this theme, falling leaves, autumn occurrence, and a hint to the start of the other four longest down answers. So like, this is a long down answer. So basil, falling leaves. So a leaf of, a leaf of basil, a palm reader, palm leaf, sage, advice. And what do we got? Bay area, is that the last one? Bay leaf. So that works. I mean, that's not amazing, but it's um, it's decent. It does provide some cohesion to the whole thing, ties it all together somehow. Um, so we'll, you know, that's good. Um, let's see, kebab. I mean, I do feel like there's a number of ways to spell kebab. So it's kind of a tough one across um, just because it's easy to fill in the wrong letters as I did and then have to go back to scratch. Gulf of Akaba uh, is pretty tough. Um, this whole section, I'm going to say, is like fairly difficult for a, a Tuesday puzzle for the you know for the Northwest grid, just Northwest region of the grid. Starting off, um, you know, funny spelling of Katie if you have never seen it in print, um, and then Basil Rathbone, Yak Milk. Uh, it's all a little bit a little bit difficult. Um, fat, uh, it's Boy, does that sound so dated? And it says like 90 slang. I mean, I I mean, I remember that like it was yesterday, but it was a very long time ago. And uh, I wonder, I mean, that must sound so dated. Um, that must sound so dated to a young person. Um, this one, A-U-E-L, the clan of the cave bear, author Gene Owl. Owl. I don't know. Um, not a huge fan of that just because I don't know it. And this, this is, this whole section is kind of ugly. Yeah. See what I did. Um, but as a unit, use up, ha ha's a name. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. The whole thing was just kind of, it didn't have a payoff. It didn't feel very satisfying at all. This was overall an okay puzzle. I think my favorite part of it was this Arby's clue. A fast food chain named for its founders, the Raffle Brothers. Um, that's pretty good, and I learned something today, so I'm I'm good with that. Um, but otherwise, just a lot of like, just a lot of um, weird proper proper nouns. Osa, Asimov, A U E L, Akaba. Um, I mean, really a lot. Um, Fonda. I mean, that's 
you know, for people of an age, that's an easy one, but for younger people, not so much. Same with Rita. Um, although everyone should know, should make an effort to know the Beatles catalog because the Beatles are still amazing. Um, Nate the Great, I mean, you know, a, a book from my youth. Uh, there's certainly other Nates that we could, um, that we could clue that would skew a little bit younger. The whole thing skews a little old. Um, you know, Basil, Basil Rathbone. Um, although I guess there, there were a couple of more recent, I guess there was a, rec a more recent Sherlock Holmes with uh, Robert Downey Jr. So maybe uh, if they've continued that character on, I guess that's not so old. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for joining me. Today is Tuesday, October 6th. We just solved the LA Times crossword by Bruce Haight, constructed by Bruce Haight. And really appreciate your help with this one and hope to see you again next time. Thanks.